I'm Noreen and welcome to my kitchen. And today we're going to make a super healthy snack. We're going to take our already healthy popcorn and we're going to boost the nutrition and the healthy factor. We're going to make some super food popcorn that you won't even know the difference. It's going to be just as delicious and just as easy to make. Let's go make some of this amazing super food popcorn. Okay, we're just going to go over some of the ingredients that I'm going to use in this superfood popcorn. This is just a great snack, and if you love popcorn as much as we do, how can it hurt to add and change a few of the ingredients and add some things that you might not add in there before? I mean, I have these things on hand all the time. Why not put them together to make a delicious popcorn snack? So, it is actually delicious and really good for you. It's going to be full of fiber and, and antioxidants and all kinds of good stuff. You can go and do your research on these products that I'm going to show you. And um, this is not an advertisement or a sponsored video. This is just me making some popcorn. But we're going to start out with popcorn, which is non-GMO organic popcorn. And we're going to use about a cup of that. And then what we're going to cook it in is red palm oil, which is super good for you. And um, you should do your research before adding this to your diet because there may be some concerns. I mean, it's it's oil, okay? So it's fat. But, but um, it tastes really good. It's really good if you fry eggs in this. Um, I've done that before. It's delicious. And and I found this on my grocery store shelf. So I saw it and I thought, oh, let's give that a try because I had never seen it before and I really like it. And then um, we're going to add some hemp seeds and some chia seeds and we're going to boost our antioxidant um, intake there and our nutritive value. And also we're going to, instead of using butter, or coconut oil, which you could also use. We're going to use this coconut oil spread. This is an organic product that I just recently found on the market. It's GMO free. It is certified organic, and we love it. Um, it is really good. My daughter Micah loves it on her toast or her waffle in the morning or her pancakes, and um, we all really like this. We could easily uh, sub out real butter for this. It's really good, and it's made with virgin coconut oil. Uh, you won't be able to tell a difference. This tastes so good. So we're going to go ahead and move over to the stove and we're going to make some popcorn that's good for you. All right, we just got our popcorn started and we're going to let this sizzle and pop and I'll bring you back when it's almost time to be finished. All right, our popcorn is finished. And if you want to see how I pop popcorn on top of the stove, I do have an electric popcorn popper, but you know, everybody has a pot and this is sometimes the easiest way to get it done. And I really like the way it tastes when I do it this way. So I'll link a video below where you can see how I do it this way. Because I do use my, my splatter screen to allow for some air to get in there. So that the steam actually evaporates and doesn't make the popcorn soggy. So I'm going to go ahead and pop this in the bowl. And uh, we're going to meet you back over at the counter. And we'll build this up and make it awesome. Popcorn's done, and you'll notice it's a nice golden hue because of that red palm oil. This looks just like the popcorn you get at the movie theater, right? Only the stuff they put on them on that popcorn is fake. It's crap, yeah. I'm just going to sprinkle over these chia seeds, the hemp seeds, and I thought, why not? I've got about a tablespoon of flax. I've got two tablespoons of hemp and chia and a tablespoon of flax. You, of course, can adjust that as you like. I'm just going to go ahead. This is how we toss popcorn in our house. I have two bowls that are exactly the same, except of their color. And we just give it a toss. Just like that. Now, we have tasted this popcorn just plain, and it's delicious. Mm-hmm. Now you I'm going to go it. ahead. You can eat it plain if you wanted to. It's really good. And I also put some salt on it the, in the pot, but I didn't salt this yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put some of this coconut oil spread that we've melted down on the popcorn. And, um, of course, you do this how you like it. If you don't like to have um, butter on your popcorn or something like that, then don't put it on here. Just mix all this stuff in but the one thing I will say is that this is gonna help 
all those seeds kind of stick mm -hmm. to the popcorn and not end up in the bottom of the bowl. And we're going to, I'm going to sprinkle in some Himalayan pink salt. And truth be told, Rick likes less salt on his popcorn than I do, so usually we salt our own serving. But I do give it an, an initial salting on the popcorn. So, I'm going to give this another toss with the spoon just to get that salt in there. So that is how you can make... Mm. This is so good. Give a boost to your already healthy popcorn snack by popping it in some really healthy oil, like red palm oil or even coconut oil. And the extra seeds and stuff, you won't even notice. You don't. But the hemp, chia, and flax, they're going to add so many health benefits to your popcorn snack that they're going to outweigh anything else. Mm. So, oh, so good. That is. So I hope you give this super healthy, super food popcorn a try, and I hope you love it. And until next time, I'll see ya. I'll make you one. <laughs> My kitchen today, I hope you liked what you watched today, and I hope that you try it, and I hope that you love it. Uh, if you like what you saw, please consider hitting the thumbs up button and giving me a positive rating. And also, make sure that you hit the subscribe button if you're already not a subscriber so that you don't miss out on any of the fun we have here in our kitchen every single day. I hope that you enjoyed it. I'm really glad that you're here. Thank you for stopping by. Don't forget to come by tomorrow. Until next time, happy eating.